Welcome and welcome back everybody to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. You read the title, you know why we're here. Uh, but before we get into it, please be sure to give me a like, hit subscribe, and leave me a comment for the algorithm. Now, with that being said, let's get into it. So today, Drip and Psycho. <clears throat> now this these are uh, another set of duo masks, naturally. Uh, and it is also the first mark masks in the uh, New York section of the game now you can do this at any time uh, i just happen to be here at night but don't worry in order to start this off you where you are when you are going to want to come to this udbg laundry in order to get here it is uh on the topmost part of new york what you want to do is just basically ping this corner of this building right here uh, and probably fast travel to the tombs unless you happen to have the gate i do recommend clearing out the gate because we do need to come back here uh to this exact spot once again uh but yeah that is up to you once you get to this uh little area what you're going to want to do is just hop through the window or open the doors whichever you want take a lift and go through here you are going to find rows of uh laundry machines now you want to come to this machine that has the 23 on it. Go ahead, interact with it. The lights are going to go kind of dim. Uh, uh, that's how you know you are on the right track. From here, we want to fast travel to the residential building safe house, which is right over here. Do -do -do. have a sip of coffee now once you spawn in you're basically just want to go directly straight no turns to this door and you're going to want to take a left uh, from here and then go out the right window we want to be next to that garage now we just want to hop down twice and we're going to keep right uh past this for now basically hug this fence and Take a left around the brick corner and on the wall back here you should see a yellow box shooting this yellow box opens the door we need to we go ahead hop over this wall i'm aggroed apparently uh this is the door that we wanted open go straight through it and you're going to find this box over here go ahead interact with that uh then all these lights should go out go ahead open your map and uh whichever which way you decided either the tombs or the gate go ahead fast travel back there we want to go back to the exact point where we started uh to that udbg laundry uh now note while you're doing this might be a good time to match make for people um if you're doing this solo it might get a bit complicated it is it is two masks uh after all so it is two hunters uh, but yeah, that is, I'll leave how you want to do this up to you. Chances are you've already got an in-game build and you know what you're doing. I don't know if it's just me, but the game seems a lot more alive recently. Or more than usual, should I say, because regardless of what you're doing, there's always a bunch of stuff just going on. Right, so back at the UDBG laundry, once again, hop through the window, go back to this back room. Now we want to go to the third row of laundry machines, turn left, and on the wall, you should be able to interact with this panel. Once you've interacted with that, back to the laundry machine, <coughs> interact with it, and it should give you a room 23 key. Now, what you're going to want to do is, at the back, go up these stairs, and naturally, find room 23. This door should be closed. You're going to want to open it up uh, and you want to interact with this wall with the numbers in on it. You can go ahead, open up this door if you want. There are, is some loot over here. Uh, 
So it is a mini loot room. After this one, we're not fast traveling anywhere. So we're just going to open our map from where we are. And we are going to find this road. Uh, so basically from the control point, from these double roads, we're going to be one to this road, follow it down and then take a left and ping right between these two buildings, right over there is where we're going to be dropping our ping. Now, just head on down the stairs, out the first door, since it's the easiest. Like this. I miss barbecues by the lake. Listen to people complain because the end of the world things and proceed down here. Now, once you reach uh, the end of the street, you should be able to just look right and up. You should see that yellow sign uh, during the nighttime. It shines a bit more, glows a bit more. Uh, but yeah, in this alleyway, if you pinged it, you should see up there is something. Go ahead, taking out a pistol is probably going to be the easiest to burst it. We're going to take this up. Uh, skip over this, hop down here, equip a immediate medical assistance needed. Equip the shotgun because we're gonna need it, and pop the first aid, disorientating everybody, and just like that. Now these two panels are going to be upright. You're just going to go ahead, interact with them. You're going to kick them down, run forward, up this wall. Over this, this is a bit finicky. Uh, you want to hop over here and you want to head up these stairs. Over here, you should find that crate uh, if you uh, want to. That doesn't really seem explicitly worth it. Uh, but once you're here, you want to follow this cable up. Or if you just want to turn around and right over there, shoot that box. That is going to cause an electrical pop. And it's going to allow you to open this door. Now, once you're through, you're going to want to take a right a left and the door on your left is openable go ahead and do so there is a shade cache right over there if you don't have it turn right in this door and you're going to find uh this this guy is going to be interactable go ahead hold uh your interaction button on him and we are going to go to the final point now it is incredibly rare uh, it's an incredibly rare site for this not to be occupied. There are usually people here, but you want to go to these, uh, you'll find these like tall buildings, uh, just directly down from the control point, uh, pretty much just ping in the middle there. Um, like I said, usually you're looking at a control, po uh, territory control or a civilian or, uh, something in that manner of speaking. To give you an idea. I've, rec I've tried recording this video four times now. I think this is the fifth. Uh, and every single time there has been something here. So with current ratio, it's a one in five chance that there is nothing there. However, I also have to say, if there is something like a territory control or a civvy area there, it helps out a lot because the, um, the hunters and these uh, NPCs don't like each other, so they help you out. Okay, they also shoot you. Uh, it's not like you have a truce on. They shoot whoever they want to, but yeah. At this point, if you have not, do not have anyone uh, in your, uh, if you don't have anyone in your party, just wait behind this uh, fire truck for them to spawn. Uh, if you do, however, you can clear out this area. There you go. So, out from behind this fire truck, you should see this little tower uh, or tree. What is this? I don't know what this is. Was a tree. And if you get to it, you should see the fellow over here on the ground. Interacting with him does spawn your hunters. So, note this is was a shared agent, but um, yeah. Interacting with him spawns your uh, hunters. I've never really been able to place them. They spawn back there somewhere. Uh, but they run around so quickly, it's it's a bit disorientating. So, yeah, go ahead, kill them. Then you have your drip and your psycho mask uh, and your uh, one key that you need for 
I think it's yeah, it's the chest piece. It's the hundred killer chest piece that you get out of the crate, if I believe, if I remember correctly. Uh, but you have uh, your key for your crate as well. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.